we all have this very real, very real fear of making mistakes, of being told you're wrong, of failing. Can anybody, will anybody be willing to admit that we don't face rejection well? That we'd rather avoid it at all costs? Yes. Yeah. That's called failure to act. That fear cripples 99% of the population. That very real fear. Who's heard this one? This is why I, I, I don't really mean to rip motivational speakers, but I hate this, this content. Who's heard false evidence appearing real? Yeah. And I'm like, really? Are you kidding me? Who in this room has ever had a real fear? Like, I'm talking about a dog that you knew was going to chew your leg off, and it didn't have a chain attached to it, and you're going, oh, crap, how am I getting out of this? Anybody been there before? Oh, yeah. OK, so when that fear triggers, does anything happen to your body? Oh, yeah. What's the first thing that happens? Does your heart rate just So your, your, your pulse and your heart rate accelerates. What else was the second thing that happens? Before nerves, thank you. Does anyone break out into a ridiculous sweat? Oh, yeah. Palms, back. Why does that happen? Your temperature what? Rises. Rises, how about shoots 20 degrees? So your temperature rises, your pulse and heart rate accelerate, your palms get sweaty, your back gets sweaty. Someone said nerves. Anybody get you get that like paralysis. You either get like a horrible twitch or you get paralyzed. Now here's my question. Any of that stuff real? Yeah. Yeah. Which is why I just, I'm like, why do you lie to people when you say that? Because if someone is experiencing those physiologic changes in their body, are they real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are your sweaty hands now wet? Yeah. Is your back now just the hair on the neck, everything? That's real. How do you tell somebody, oh, that's just false? It doesn't matter if the dog's actually going to eat you or not. The very real fear that it might just literally disconnects all your wiring. Well, that's easy. But do you realize people have that same fear in talking to others? In approaching people. And, and guys, again, guys, not ladies, guys. I'd like a little honesty for a second. Can I get honesty from the guys? Yes. Go back to junior high. Sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, before you were cool. Before you were cool. So you're like, oh, I didn't experience that liar. Sixth, seventh, eighth grade. Can anybody remember your first dance? Yeah. See, girls, just don't even think about answering this because you don't get it. But guys, think about your first dance. Where'd you stand? Don't lie. Where'd you stand? Or in the hall. In the back of the room, on the wall, in the hall. But who were you with? Your buddies. Your so you went to the dance to hang out with your buddies, right? <laughs> if you want to hang out with your buddies, couldn't you go to the arcade? Yeah. The ball field? Sure. The mall, whatever. So why did you choose to go to the dance to hang out with your buddies? Because your goal in going to the dance was to do something other than hang out with your buddies, right? Right. And again, guys, can you all remember that, that girl you had the crush on in 6th, 7th, or 8th grade? Yeah. yeah. I don't care if your wife's in the room. You were 6th yeah. six, six grade. <laughs> Raise your hand if you can all remember that girl that you had a crush on. Seriously. Keep them up. I didn't say put them down. Put your hands up high. Seriously. <laughs> See, girls, I'm going to ask you a question in a second. But raise your hand high, guys. Did you have any hesitation in approaching that young lady and ask her to dance? Yeah. Why? Fear. Fear. Rejection. Fear of what? Rejection. Fear of rejection of her saying no. But really, that wasn't the big fear. What was the big fear? It was the long walk back to your boys. We are like, dude! You got skin marks on your forehead from her. Because is that not the worst? Guys, is that not the worst humiliation? So you'd rather not approach her and ask her than run the risk of that ridicule that you knew was going to happen from your best friends. Now think about that for a second. So your goal was never even attempted. Didn't even talk to her out of a what? Yeah. A very real fear. Do you guys understand that that programming stays with you 
forever. Am I losing you? No. Do you understand that programming stays with you forever? Yes. Ladies, can you remember that dance? Yes. Any lady willing to say, oh, yeah, there was a couple boys I really wish had the courage to walk across the dance floor, but they never did? Any, anyone? Ladies? Y'all looking at me like I'm speaking <laughs> Greek or something. <laughs> Doesn't that still exist in adulthood? Yes. 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 Thank you. See, it goes from that first dance to the dating scene. And I, I, it, nothing changes. Ladies, honestly now, I want you to be honest. How long does it take you to size up a guy to decide whether or not you'd like to go dance with him or you'd go on a date with him or whatever. How long does it take? Two seconds. Do you guys hear that? <laughs> Women all go, two seconds. <laughs> guys, do you understand? We got sunk before we opened our mouth. Now, I'm being sad. I'm, I'm not making this stuff up. Ladies, speak loud, seriously. How long does it take? Be You're walking towards her. You make the eye contact. You're done for. You get there to say hello. You're working on your game the whole night, right? You're working on that line. You don't even get to use it. You were already torpedoed before the words came out of your mouth. Am I lying, ladies? It, the bottom line is they were reading our what? Our body language our appearance, our confidence. And what they were really reading was a negative programming that we never got rid of. And all I'm trying to say to you is these are the things that we, each of us individually, have to choose to neutralize. The good news is you can create new programming. Do you understand that? You can take a magnet and go like this, just like you can over a computer or a Video cassette, you can erase the programming, but you have to first what? Choose to do it. And see, that's that stepping out. See, there is a comfort in familiarity. Yes? Yes. Like, you're not happy, but you're comfortable. And the fear of the unknown makes us what? uncomfortable. See, some of you are still going, I'm not going to answer. I know the answer, but I'm not going to say it. You know why? Because you're uncomfortable. It's not fear. You're just uncomfortable doing it. What's this training called? Boot camp. Why do you, why do you got to call it boot camp? Guess why I call it boot camp? Because it is. I, I, I sincerely, I don't want, there's one thing I don't want. People to spend six months, six years, wasting their time doing something they have no chance to succeed at. Does that make sense? Yes. You find out in literally nine hours with me whether or not you really want to be successful in business. And here's why I'm willing to do that. I think I'm doing you a favor if I can wash you out in one day. No, seriously, rather than see you give up 10 hours a week, 10 hours a month for the next six years of frustration. Has anybody been frustrated trying to get ahead and not getting there? Yes. How much fun is that? None. So I just chose a long time ago not to sit there and say all the stuff that you want to hear to keep you coming back. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. It's all optional, but my goal is, and what was the first question I asked you guys? Do you want to be successful? Do you want to be successful and make money? And you all said what? Yes. And I said what? Are you sure? Are you sure? And then you said? Yes. So if you're saying that and you mean that, then I got to go with the premise you want new programming. Fair enough? Yes. And if you want new programming, you're choosing to now do what you have to do rather than what you want. Fair enough? And the most important thing is the reprogramming. And if we can do that, if we can reprogram, it's now, remember I said very simple? So what we're going to do today is we're going to work on that base level program. But the reason why I do those little exercises 
first thing is you now know whether or not you want to hear anything else I say the rest of the day, don't you? Yes. <laughs> and it's okay. You can leave now and have the rest of the day free. You can hang out with us and say, I'm not doing anything he's telling us to do. <laughs> or you can say, wow, this is a little different than anything I have sat through because my training is not something I learned in a book. It's not something I heard on someone else's CD or watching their VCR tapes or DVDs. What I teach you is what I went through in my career as a guess what? As a representative doing the exact same thing you're embarking upon.